What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Prosper back with another reaction video. In this video, bro, I'm about to react to Joyner Lucas featuring Elijah James, uh, Like a River, off his Evolution album. Um, yeah, I already heard the album. Album is dope as hell. This is one of my favorite tracks off the album. I like Straight Like That as well as uh, Things I've Never Seen or some shit like that. I, I, things I've Seen? I don't know. There's a song like that. Um, but yeah, it's dope. I fuck with the album, definitely. Um, and this track definitely probably is the best track in my opinion. Um, just cause how much emotion he put into the track, you know what I mean? It's like personal to him. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to see what the video is all about. His videos are always dope. His videos are like movies, you know what I mean? It's not like even a music video, it's a movie type shit. Um, that's how much time and effort he puts in his, uh, music videos. Like, he puts so much time in his music, but on top of that, to do, put that much effort and time into your videos as well... Like, this dude is a beast. You gotta give him his credit. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to see what this shit's all about. But before we get into the video, I'm gonna need y'all to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And road time to K-Subs. Let's get Let's go. Post notifications on. And with that being said, let's check this out. Y'all ready? Let's get it. Hmm. Off the rip, he's taking us back with the music video, you know what I mean? In the song, he did that, but like, this is just dope as far as this putting it into a picture type shit and i guess like him drowning or what that scene in the beginning uh resonates with the title like like a river in sweet dreams i kid myself have your love for good damn I really that's sad right there bro but like the river you just come and go These things they come for me. They get boxed up. My mind's on you. That's always how it is, bro. That's I guarantee you he, he even says it in the song. But like niggas always like I don't know what it is, but like the person that always has the hard lifestyle or whatever, or like people like like the, in his situation, his dad left him type shit. Um and whatnot. Or he had a shitty relationship with his dad. But now look at him. He's living the best life. Um, so basically he's shitting on his dad. It's basically you shitting on the same type of people that uh, gave you hell in your life type shit. It's always like that. And I feel you comfort me. But like the river, it just comes and goes. I used to think that you was Superman when I was younger. Yeah. Finding comfort in your voice when I was down and under. Put you on a pedestal and now I kind of wonder if that made sense. Cause I'm convinced you showed a lot of colors. Yeah. All the nights I was alone, I hid inside the covers. Mm. Used to argue with my moms whenever I was stubborn. Right. I never warmed up to the idea of a stepdad because he wasn't you. And you and him and even like each other. Right. Used to bring me around your girlfriends as I recall. I thought one or two was cool, but I ain't like them all. Cause all you ever did was argue about who's right or wrong. And you ain't had no job, so you were at home and light a bomb used to crave for your attention but i never got it and everything you said we do is just another promise you had dreams of being famous and i never doubted but i started rhyming to impress you if we being honest thought we could have some bonding time and maybe pow wow a father-son relationship that we can smile about at times you got abusive and i had to bow down and keep on making music to try to compete with bow wow your father died when you was young i think that made a scar i started thinking maybe that's why you the way you are end of the day no excuse for how you played your part I told myself when i became a father i'ma raise the bar we had a lot of falling outs and didn't talk for years and all them birth that's so sad bro like i think what's happening like with the music video is like how he wanted to live life like you know what i mean how like the things he wanted to do with his dad and whatnot but and then it goes to the reality of how he grew up so that's like just putting that into like the transition and everything you know what i mean it just paints the picture really well bro 
Birthdays and holidays got awfully weird. You threw me in a foster home and I was brought to tears. Living with some strangers, feeling anxious, I was lost and scared. And now I'm staring at the river trying to get across. And all I see is apparitions of what never was. And everything I used to wish for is dead and lost. And if I never see your ass again, I'll be better off. I'll be better off. You are so negative. And you say you know. But you know a goddamn thing Like the river, you just run and go You say you could do good He's being the man of the house, I'm guessing, right? Here. And better you know He saved up money But you tried no goddamn thing Like the river, I'm a run I told myself I wouldn't write a song, but fuck it, I did. Oftentimes I sit and wonder if it's something I did. Or maybe I was immature, but is it something I said? I can't help but feel the feeling that there's something I missed. You see, that part always just makes me feel bad. It's like in any, like any kid, you know what I mean? Whether they witness their parents going through a divorce or like in Joyner's situation, like his dad just distancing himself away from uh joiner and his mom or whatever uh like whenever the kid puts puts the blame on themselves that always gets to me you know what i mean like a kid should not feel like they're the reason that their parents relationship don't didn't work out or that they pushed their pa certain parents away you know what i mean that's fucked up in my opinion like a kid should not go through that uh thoughts they should not have those thoughts at all bro like, that's why I always feel bad, like, when uh, kids grow up in a single-parent household um, or even, like, the foster care system or all of this shit. It's, it's fucked up, bro. The amount of trauma that it could do to a kid's mind. Like, look at him. Joyner's, like, 33, but he still remembers all this shit. Like, it, he hasn't let it go. You know what I mean? And it's not even his fault for not letting it go, but it just shows you... The type of shit you endure as a child will stick for you forever. Like, it's not going to go away easy. Um, you need therapy and shit. And even after therapy, you that's still, that shit stays stuck with you forever, bro. It's fucked up. Maybe I was immature, but is it something I said? I can't help but feel the feeling that there's something I missed. I told you something happened to me and you ain't protect me. You try to say you ain't believe me as you disrespect me. But you ain't never had my back. In fact, you may resent me in a way. Because everything I say, you try to use against me. And I never knew your other kids, but I knew of them. I'm not really sure if I like them, but I do love them. Shit, I don't even think you knew, but just a few of them. Because all your baby mothers stayed away to keep you from them. You probably out filling their heads with shit that's not the truth. You probably told them that I switched up when I got some loot. You probably told them that I'm greedy and I'm not so cool. Then I worship the devil and I'm so... Yeah, they took that nigga's shoes, bro. Like... Bro, I hate bullies, bro. I fucking hate them niggas. Like, them, like, look, them niggas attacked him three on one, bro. That's how it is. That's how it is all the time, bro. Like, cowards, bro. They never get a fair one on one. It's always when they're in a group. Uh, so, yeah, I hate bullies, bro. Fucking just scums of this earth, bro. When I got some loot, because it's a, it's a reality, bro. If you've been bullied, you, you know what's up. Uh, niggas, like, that's how it is, bro. That's just how it is. They never give a fair one-on-one, -on -one, bro. Like, if you have a problem with me, my nigga, settle it one-on-one. -on -one. Why gotta be three on, uh, why you gotta be three-on-one -on or five-on-one? -on like, you a whole bitch, bro. Because you know damn well, if you were by yourself, you wouldn't be acting like that, bro. Told them that I'm greedy and I'm not so cool. Then I worship the devil and I sold my soul to cop a pool. I work my ass off to get rich. Let's not confuse. Mm. I sacrificed my whole 20s just so I can move. While everybody else was chilling, hanging out with crews, I was writing a plan to finally win while trying not to lose. Yeah. I still remember signing my deal and you got hella funny. And at that time, you probably figured I had hella money. But I only got a small advance, so I ain't even get a chance to hold you down. Because then you started getting jealous of me. But I'm worth a couple million now, I turned out fine. I cut my mom's a big crib and went and got mine. An indoor pool with a housemaid and a my line. A happy son who loves his dad, it's about time. But I'm still staring at the river trying to get across. And all I see is apparitions of what never was. And everything I used to wish for is dead and lost. And if I never see your ass again, then I'll be better off. Nigga, I'll be better off. In sweet dreams, I kid myself. Hmm. Have your love for good. I really had hoped you 
So hold up, is this symbolism right here like saying his dad could have saved him from all the trauma he endured in his life? But uh, he didn't, you know what I mean? He drowned. Uh, drowning just symbolizes the suffer, the pain and all that type of shit. Uh, I guess that's what he's doing with these little clips, bro. It's just symbolism and whatnot. Maybe it's not, he's not depicting like what went down and all of that shit, but he's just showing like, what his life could have been if he had his dad there but in reality this is what happened not these scenes but like the symbolism is there you know what i mean the pain the suffering and all that type of shit this is no video just come and go and these things they come for me when my mind's on you and i feel you for me but like the river it just comes and goes and congratulations nigga you won mm -hmm. and all the love you never gave me i can give to my son eternal love to my child will forever be one thanks to you i know the man that i would never become never become, never become. that right there bro like I, I the reason i didn't comment on certain parts of the song i already heard the song you know what i mean i was focusing on the video a lot more but um uh, Right there, I don't know what you call that shit, a bridge or whatever, um, or the outro, but that shit was like the most sincere but respectful fuck you I ever heard, bro. Like, and I know, like, he, he took the approach, it's kind of like what Eminem did with cleaning out my closet, but his shit was disrespectful. Um, not saying he's wrong for what he said and whatnot, like that nigga went through hell as well, but uh, he took a different approach. Joyner took a different approach where it was like, I'm not going to be disrespectful, but I'm going to kill you with kindness type shit. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to make you feel guilty for all the shit you made me go through type of shit. Um, which is just, I feel like this shit hurts even more. Imagine imagine this track was directed at you. You know what I mean? That shit will make you feel some type of way instead of uh, your son or whatever calling you a bitch, this and that. Like, that, that doesn't hurt. But like the shit he's saying here, bro, this shit... Literally, this shit will hit you hard type shit. Uh, but yeah, like this part is pr probably one of my favorites, bro. Nigga, you the song. And all the love you never gave me, I can give to my son. Yeah. Eternal love to my child will forever be one. Thanks to you, I know the man that I would never become. Never become. Damn. Like I said, bro, the video is deep. He did all this shit independently too, bro. But yeah, video is deep as fuck, bro. I fuck with Joyner, bro. That shit was dope as hell. Like I said, the song is dope as hell, but his music videos are movies, bro. Like, and it, it's got layers to them type shit. Um, but yeah, fire ass video, bro. I fuck with it. Um, I'm guessing it's just crazy symbolism, bro. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, what is it called? The track was just a sincere but respectful fuck you to his dad. Um, that's just the simplest way to put it. Um, but yeah, listen to the rest of the album if y'all haven't already. Shit's dope. Definitely got a few dope tracks on that shit. Um, and it flows really well, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, it tells a story from beginning to end. Each song transitions to the next song uh, and whatnot. Um, but yeah, fire-ass video, fire-ass song. Um, I fuck with Joyner, bro. Joyner's dope. He's underrated. I don't understand him. Like, I feel like he deserves a lot more credit and recognition. But for some reason, niggas don't give it to him. You know what I mean? I don't know. People say he's corny and whatnot. I don't see that shit. I don't see him as being a corny rapper and all that. Um, but yeah, that's probably why people just don't want to give him the re credit and recognition he deserves. But he's elite, bro. He's an elite storyteller. He's a dope lyricist for sure. Um, yeah, he, he's dope. He's fire. Um, but yeah, if y'all enjoyed this reaction video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn post notifications on, uh, share the video, do all that fun stuff. And with that being said, I'm gonna see y'all next one. I'm out. Peace.